The mission is a very, very um, important piece of what public safety deals with on a daily basis. Police officers aren't people who just need to go out and make arrests when crimes occur. We're peacekeepers. In fact, one of our um, requirements is that we're community caretakers. Under the community caretaking statute, it means that we actually try to figure out how to help people who are in need of services or resources or other things. And that's where the mission comes in. With community corrections and parole and probation, we believe that people can change their lives. And having the opportunity to have a fresh start and set on a new path to get there is where the mission comes in, into play. And the mission is able to give that fresh start. And so working along with the parole and probation officers, we can work together to help somebody make the changes needed in their life. Every year when I'm invited to the banquet, hear different people speak, or there's been times where people were actually serving meals at the table I was sitting at who came up and tugged me on the shoulder and said, hey, do you remember me? And, and they're doing great, and they want to tell me what they're doing and how their life has got better. And, and it just makes me feel so good to know that there was some connection in the community that allowed these folks to have uh, a place to go and a way to get their lives on track. You know, some of them are into the food service business because they had a chance to help out with, you know, growing vegetables or, you know, cooking food or becoming chefs or whatever. Uh, to every other little thing that basically they do to, to get their lives back on track. I don't know anybody who is perfect. Everybody has at some point in their life done something that they wish they could have changed or done differently. But we do not have to be defined by our past. We can be shown a different way to be shown there's other options out there and choose a new path and be given the opportunity to take that road and, and really be defined by who we choose to be now. You know, the Bible talks about being a new creation in Christ. It gives our church an opportunity to reach out to these people who may be hungry or, or may be needing clothing or, or may uh, need a, a cup of, of cool water. And, and we, so we, we offer that to them, but we also offer them uh, the love of Christ and the forgiveness and the grace that uh, He so freely gives and, and uh, let them know that uh, His desire is that they come to Him when they're weary and heavy laden and he will give them rest. And so the church becomes a place where they can come home and they can feel like part of a family. This place does such good work. It's such a necessity for, for the world today. I mean, it gives these guys a safe place to go. It gives them, it teaches them responsibility. It teaches them that somebody does love them. Besides, you know, we keep telling them God loves them. You know, but you guys show them that love. You know, it's a tough love. You know, they have rules that they have to obey, you know, and, and that, but um, you can see the changes in their lives. Really, when you talk to the staff, their heart is there. They are there working there because they love people. And uh, because of that love, I will continue to support the mission as, as long as I am able. That's God's heart is, is He loves us wherever we are. And uh, we've always had an open door policy where they can come in and, and, and be a part of our family. And uh, uh, I've encouraged people uh, to view them and look at them uh, through the eyes of Christ and, and look at them with compassion as he did, uh, as sheep maybe without a shepherd, as because uh, all of us are sinners and fallen short of the glory. And I want us as a church and the mission uh, to have the same mission, and that is to to share the love of Jesus Christ with people wherever we find them, in whatever situation we find them in, and do whatever we can to uh, give them uh, not just a hand out, but a hand up, so that they can improve their life and get back on their feet and, and become uh, productive and a useful part of uh, Grants Pass and, and this community.